handful of YouTubers have jeopardized the safety of our community and the creatives we love for too long. The Star Wars fandom demands action. Team YouTube demonetized Nerdrotic, Ryan Kennel, RK Outpost, and Geeks and Gamers. Hate should not be a career path. So, and they ta they made this video. I've, I have not seen this video yet. So they made this video right over here. An alarming number of users are exploiting their platforms to spread hate. Leslie Jones was subjected to incredibly vicious attacks on Twitter. I don't say anything I don't believe, but of course I do. Okay. Why, why are they bringing up clips from like 2016 and comparing like Gary, Ryan, and like Geeks and Gamers to Milo Yiannopoulos? Like I, 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 I don't get it. I what like this guy Milo? like this oh, yeah, yeah who, who is this guy? who's Milo so uh Milo uh so if you guys don't know uh he it, he is like a they would consider him a right wing extremist that works for Breitbart so uh, I believe he said a bunch of crazy stuff I'm not sure what his background is but I know that he said a bunch of stuff on YouTube he used to have a YouTube channel and he got demonetized for it I believe he got the platform for it like he's he I believe they banned his account if I'm not mistaken but uh. The thing is that like, he's no longer on YouTube. And I think that's what these people are trying to compare Geese and Gamers, nerd, uh, you know, Nerdrotic and Ryan Kinnell to. Right? They're, they're yeah. not trying, like, they're, they're saying, we're not trying to tell you that you should ban their channel. We just want you to take money away from them. Yeah, I, I read that one too. It's like, yeah, Man. It's clearly a coordinated effort, but it didn't work in the end. Thank yeah, God. is this. Yeah, is this a gay guy? Oh, he probably is. <laughs> probably you say is. things in a way that is going to elicit response from people. Sparking outrage, spraying vitriol at many, and helping to legitimize a movement of negativity growing on the internet. There has been uh, a rampage of vitriol that we have faced since the show was even announced. When it was still just a concept and no one had even seen wow. it. Wow. So this, this is what the acolyte exists for. It's not here for story. It's not here to build the lore for crying out loud. Look at the cast right here. The, this cast was made for <laughs> having as little white males as possible in this cast. You know, Lucasfilm, you know, the, the retarded Avengers assemble over there, backing each other up. Racist do stick together. That's your. <laughs> 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 no, that shit's uh, funny, man. Yeah, that shit's that shit's funny as. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. Now, here's the thing, like, it, yeah, the thing exactly, is, right? They always yeah. try to weaponize like the witty feedback and our people's opinions. That's they like, oh, you're just bigots and you're just evil people spreading hate. This is how they always take feedback. That's why they never grow. They never learn. And and they ne their content never becomes better. The whatever whatever it is they're selling, it never becomes better. It's just more content for like for us, for GNG, for FNT to keep farming, keep growing. It's like the reason why we're growing is because more and more people are getting pissed at this BS that they're spewing. And yeah. then they continue to do what they're doing. It's just only like benefiting everyone who's like calling them out. Yeah, man. Oh, so so this is their evidence, right? This is the evidence they sent to YouTube. This is insane. Uh, he accused Jones of playing the victim. Actress Amanda Stenberg playing the victim card. They can do nothing other than play the victim. Amanda Stenberg, the adult pretender. Pathological, sociopathic, feminist liars in popular. How, the, the thing is that, like, the fact that they're trying to compare someone who's like, like I like I said, I don't, I I've heard Milo's name in passing by like you know when i when i would watch like political like talks and stuff like that but comp comparing that comparing him to like this is like eight years ago comparing this to like what we're getting right now like here's the thing the first amendment you're under the protection of that you, are, you have the protection of the first amendment here in the united states to say stuff that it's uh, you can say whatever you want as long as it's not illegal or or some kind of death threat or anything like that, right? So the thing is, a lot of these people, like I said before, whenever they become a celebrity, they make it, they get millions and millions of dollars doing what they do. What you know, they are technically adult pretenders, right? And another thing is, you're stepping into the limelight 
you automatically sort of become a uh, a figure, a public figure. And we have each and every opportunity to make fun of you, right? And the thing is that if you if you can't, you know, stand the heat, get the fuck out of the kitchen. Like I I I don't I don't get how is this an issue, but I, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm just freaking, you know, blabbering on. Let's continue. The culture almost like she's fucking lying through her teeth. And it would be one thing if we actually saw some, some evidence of this, right? If we actually saw some of this shit she's talking about. But no, this is just gaslighting. These are terrible, talentless people that we are instructed we must like unless... And then sort of subtext is, you know, if you don't like them, you're somehow, they get somehow <laughs> terrible performance, her attitude, driving away fans, or anything like that. No, it's everyone else's fault, and they're racist, and they just hate me because I'm black. It's all, it, like... She's so nursing. vapid and narcissistic. It is the most, like, kind of narcissistic, lack of self-awareness. And, and she's still bitching about oppressors. You've never been oppressed in your goddamn life, you bitch. Look at that. <laughs> I got a Derek Chauvin, George Floyd memorial. <laughs> but also every single different race of people has been enslaved and discriminated against and oppressed oh. in some way throughout our entire history. The only people that can't get over it seems to be black people. I, I am not a racist, though I'm frequently told that I am one. But I am, I am, I am in favor of oppressing whatever the fuck this is. Because... <laughs> oh, no, I see right here. YouTube, demonetized geeks and gamers, RK Outpost and Neurotic. Hate should not be a career path. Well, I'm pretty sure hate is the ultimate career path for all of these crazy people is because whenever someone on the right or someone that's against their ideology is canceled, they cheer, they praise it. They, they start celebrating, right? They, they, they actually mark, you know, on their calendar and turn into a holiday. And it's absolutely insane. But the thing is what I want to, uh, this, this, they also submitted this thing, right? It's in short, mm -hmm. basically saying, you know, writing, uh, basically having the video basically turn into a uh, dissertation that they're trying to graduate with, saying that you got to get rid of all these people. And then they're, they're trying to quote all these things. And I, 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 I talked through this already. It's a lot. They're comparing, you know, if we were able to get Milo off of YouTube, we should be able to get neurotic ryan and geeks and gamers off of youtube right and then at the end it says may the force be with you right, submit all these resources but right this is right over here youtube did respond this is a couple of days ago we definitely want our community to help flag inappropriate content to ensure youtube is a safe place for everyone if you come across something that violates youtube's policies you can report it uh via the following thank you right but YouTube responded and they didn't get the answer they wanted. Mm -hmm. Right over here. Hello, uh, Team YouTube Star Wars community would be at very least appreciate a formal response or an update in regards to our well documented and well documented and pressing concerns about YouTubers pushing prolonged harassment on your platform. Now, there it is. A Nine million views. 11, I'm going to like this right over here. Thanks for reaching out. Just heard back and confirm that this content is not violative and will remain up. We totally understand you may not agree with this decision, but we reviewed this video very carefully against our policies. And the thing is that YouTube probably did this, like, oh, fuck, I have to respond back to this and at like 3 a.m. in the morning. Nothing is capitalized. You can tell that they're like fucking sleeping. So this is huge. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a good point. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is a huge, this is a YouTube W right here, right? Yeah, yeah. Like it's like, it's crazy. I, I, half of me was kind of worried that YouTube would actually do it because you know how YouTube like randomly demonetizes people like they like they did with Jay. Yeah. So yeah. So good good thing like it was actually like, actually a human agent that actually looked into this or a human moderator and saw what it actually is. So it's a good thing. Yeah. Now here's another thing. Uh, I saw this earlier. I believe um, uh, Jeremy posted this. The people who are responding to this, they are really mad, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go to uh, view engagements. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna check out quotes, right? All of this for Disney Plus television show. They're barely anyone watch, bro. I can't. And then critical drinker right over here. All of this because of a shitty Star Wars show that nobody watched. Rewriting Ripley loses again. When you do everything you can to censor those who disagree with you, you are the bad guy, right? You are blocked. And here's another one. Hey, Team YouTube. These are literally the first two videos that pop up uh, when I simply typed in the acolyte. <laughs> 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 do you know what you can do? 
you you know that you can actually go like I, I don't want to see these videos anymore because there's these three dots over there over here you yep. can actually press and, that and say i don't want to see these videos anymore yeah you absolutely can like uh that's what i do it's like that's the reason why i have like two main accounts to watch stuff if mm -hmm. i don't want to talk if i don't want to see pop culture woke stuff for a while and just see pure video games I go to this to my main account, but if I want to see like Geeks and Gamers, FNC, movie reviews, Rings of Power reviews, I go to my other account. That way you can mm -hmm. filter what you want to see because like you're teaching the algorithm to what to show in that particular account. So you just got to do that. It's not hard. Yeah. The crazy thing is that this, uh, I saw another one that's pretty nuts. This one right over here. If I ever catch the YouTube CEO, this is a call to violence. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is that if you grow down, right? People reported for violence right here. Bravo, I don't give a fuck. Blah, blah, blah. Black van showing up at your house tomorrow, right? This person doesn't care. And the thing is that right over here, didn't she just die too? Ain't no fucking ways because like he, he's like, that could have been me. I should be the one, right? Because Susan, I, I believe Susan passed away like earlier this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, she did, she did. Right. And, and the thing is that this person, these people, unhinged people, they would they have zero following and they always have an anime character. Yeah, you, right. It's like all, all it's so it's super easy to hide behind the keyboard and touchpad and not put yourself in front of a camera, talk about it in video and exp and constructively make your points or arguments on why you think you are right. They never do that. They just like. Oh, you're a hater. You're a bigot. Just because I don't, you don't like what I like. This yep. all there is to, to these people. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.